Welcome to Susan's Cooking School. Today we'll be making French bread. First we'll make our sponge. For bread flour. Yeast. Lukewarm water. Just mix this till smooth. And that's it. Now we'll cover this and let it rise. Let's check our sponge. It looks good. It's nice and bubbly. So let's finish off our dough. I'm going to add the rest of my yeast to a little warm water. Let's give this a little stir. I've softened up my yeast. I'm going to add this to the sponge. Rest of my bread flour and salt. I'll mix this up as much as I can in the bowl before I knead it. And if it feels like it's going to be too wet, it'd be a good time to add extra flour. Try to incorporate all the bits of flour and unmixed dough that are in the bottom of the bowl. It feels like it might be just a touch dry to me, so I'm going to add a little bit extra liquid. Very little. A little flour down on the table. I like to use a rocking motion. Just keep pushing the dough side by side. It's too sticky, you can add a little extra flour to the table like this if you need to. Try to add as little as possible. Two minutes, four minutes, six minutes, and eight minutes. So we're done. Dough is nice and soft. It's a nice texture. I'm going to round this up. make a nice smooth surface. I'm going to put this right back into the same bowl that we mixed in earlier. You don't need to clean it in between. We'll cover this and let this rise till it's at least double. Okay, it's been an hour and a half and our dough looks ready. Just take this dough out onto the counter. A little flour now. I'm going to divide this dough into four pieces. Now I'm just going to round each one of these pieces gently. I'm just going to let these rest for a few minutes uh, to relax so that I can shape them into the French loaves. The dough is rested for about 10 minutes. Now we'll shape it into loaves. I have a couche over here, and it's made out of a special linen that helps it not to stick to the dough. Very little flour when I shape these, just enough so the dough doesn't stick to my hand. I'm going to flatten this piece out, and then I'm going to roll over and squeeze and pinch. To, uh, as I shape it into a loaf. When I'm near the end, I'm going to just taper off the ends this way. And there I have my finished loaf. I'm going to put it in my couche, bring up the sides. My second piece, flatten the dough out. I'm going to keep folding and pushing and flattening it and rolling the dough. And then I'm just pinching the edges, seal, and then I'm going to roll the ends. And there I have it. Put this one next to the first one. We'll keep these covered so they don't dry out until they're risen and then we'll bake them.
Meanwhile, my stone and my oven are preheated to 425 degrees. Okay, it's been about an hour. Now we're going to slash our loaves and bake them. Sometimes they get a little dried out when they're uh, resting, especially in this couche. You can cover it with plastic if you like also. I'm just going to brush these very carefully with a little water just to kind of rehydrate where it dried out a little bit. Now I'm going to slash them quickly. We'll do two at a time. I'll put a little flour on my peel. put them in my preheated oven on a preheated stone. Here we go. Some boiling hot water. About a half a cup. And we'll let those bake for about 20 minutes. We'll put a little squirt of water. I'm just going to turn these loaves so that they bake evenly. You don't want to do this in the early part of baking, but these are almost done. Alright, our loaves are ready. They have a nice hollow sound. And we'll slice one of these open to see how it looks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck with your French bread.